Manoa seeks to become the second 10 game winner in Major League Baseball. Justin Verlander earlier today won his 10th big league game. Rob Refsnyder has been fabulous since joining the Red Sox. He'll lead it off against the very tough Alec Manoa. Fastball lifted in the air to right field, but this should be routine for Rymel Tapia, one down. So here is Devers, and as he often sees against the Blue Jays, not all the time, but often the 3 4 defense. That is Espinal, the second baseman, out and right. You're all familiar with it by now. Manoa set the one two swing and a miss the first strikeout of the night dispatches Devers two away so Manoa retires the first two batters he faces and now will face J.D. Martinez and now again the 0 2 and a swing and a miss with a fastball up and in Pavetta pitch once here last year and did not go well Nick Pavetta with George Springer and he'll torch a liner coming on a sliding play for Verdugo Outstanding effort by Alex in left field to snatch that one before it got to the turf and one away. The one down at the bottom of the first, and here's Bo Bichette. 2 2. Brown ball bounding its way out to the second baseman, flagged by Sanchez, ranging to his right. Makes the throw to first base. That'll retire Bo. So two down here at the bottom of the first, and here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He rips this one hard, but right to Bogart's out. Two hops. Xander flips the first, and plenty of time to retire the side, so Pavetta. Thanks to the good play by Verdugo as a one two three frame we go to the second inning Kirk at second Tapia at first and two down and here is Santiago Espinal for the first time tonight and it's grounded up the middle of base hit Kirk can easily come in to score on this around the third is Tapia and the Blue Jays have a one to nothing lead Franchi Cordero one of the guys who you figure would have the best chance against this hard throwing right hander. Sean Vaughn drops it down past the mound. <laughs> Manoa throws his glove at it. And Franchi is on. That was a beautiful, beautiful bunt the other way for Franchi. He beat the defense, beat the shift. I believe that would have cost the Blue Jays an extra base had the ball connected with the glove there by Manoa. Some frustration shown by him, a really silly thing to do. So it's a bunt single for Cordero. And here is Yolmer Sanchez. Front of goes. Here's the throw by Kirk, and it's too high. It sails in center field. Franchi's up and running. He's going to reach third. So he's winning all these battles. Stolen base and throwing error by Kirk. Got to love the jump right there on that pitch. Franchi Cordero, what an athlete. He can motor. 3 2. Inside, ball four. Sanchez takes the walk. He draws the base on balls, and the Red Sox have him at the corners with nobody out for Jackie Bradley. Slider and that is lined and caught by Santiago Espinal. Caught it just before it hit the dirt. So one down. Can Manoa get the ground ball from Robert F. Snyder? High fly center field. Well Go. hit. That's deep. Springer's back on the run. Long run. Runs it down. Tagging up and in to score is Franchi. And another absolute shot by Ref Snyder just goes in the book as a sack fly and an RBI but that was another bullet and it's a 1 1 game Springer went 92 feet to catch that ball it's a long way to go and now here's Alejandro Kirk who walked and scored in the second and that's going to drill him he gets hit by the pitch Alejandro Kirk he is on that'll put him on at first and second and Charlie Montoyo is coming out and he is pointing towards Kirk and the plate. He wants to go talk to Kirk and to make sure he's okay. He was just talking to DJ Rayburn, the home plate umpire. And now it's getting heated. And now Devers is coming in and Vladdy is coming out and Pavetta is yelling at somebody. I think he and Guerrero are having words. The dugouts have emptied. The bullpens have emptied. You know, the Blue Jays have been hit a lot lately. Mm -hmm. And Kirk's been hit on a couple of occasions as well. And Springer's playing peacemaker right now, trying to keep Vladdy under control. Manoa is out on the field as well. And he is now being guided back to the Blue Jay dugout. And fortunately, this one didn't really boil over. Yeah, we've seen enough of that in the last week or so. Lord Springer twice has flied the left. First time, Verdugo robbed him with a diving catch. Springer skulls one straight away center field. Bradley back at the wall. He leaps into the air. He can't get it. It is gone. Rips one to center field. He wants to make sure Bradley didn't catch that. And Springer gives the Blue Jays the lead. So now Martinez, who has struck out in each of his two at bats, didn't hit it hard. Charging in center field and making the catch. 
is George Springer, his second great catch of the ball game. But another star on that one for George Springer. He got the sacrifice fly on a great catch in left center field. So the inning continues with a runner on for the Red Sox. The Blue Jays are up two to one in the sixth, and it's Alex Verdugo who's made good contact twice. Shot out to right Go. field. Tapia back, turning around, and it's gone. Home run. Verdugo strikes again. A two-run shot. And the Red Sox have the lead against Manoa here in Toronto. He is hotter than hot right now. And the crowd getting a little livelier here in the ballpark with the tying run aboard and the go-ahead run at the plate in Rymel Tapia. Left center field. And it's down for a base hit. And here comes Zimmer to tie the game. That ball had just enough fade, just enough slice to drop it in out of the reach of the dive of Jackie Bradley Jr. Shift on as always against Biggio. Big spot for him with two on and two out in a tie game in the eighth inning. Waiting a 2-2 pitch from Ryan Brazier. Here it is. Strike three called. He got a slider over the inside oh. edge. Uh, Brazier had to throw 30 pitches but escapes although he did what was save opportunity first and third one out as the Red Sox threaten to take the lead again and Bobby Dahlbeck is going to bat for Yomer Sanchez the one two fastball and a swing and a miss to get him two down so two down and now Jackie Bradley Jr. 0 for three the one two and a high fly ball to center Zimmer back has room makes the catch here's JD with the bases loaded they bring the infield in and one two. Oh, oh he's gonna is. drill him and here comes the run JD gets drilled he'll pick up the RBI here comes Jackie in to score runners did advance to second and third with Devers and Martinez and now it falls to Alex Verdugo to get the Red Sox first hit with runners in scoring position liner that one's into the alley nobody out there it's gonna keep on bouncing up against the wall that's gonna score two runs Devers is in Martinez is in and the Red Sox grab a 6 3 lead. Here's Espinal representing the tying run with two outs here in the bottom of the 10 and a liner into left center a base hit in to score Kurt Chapman around to third an RBI single for Espinal makes it 6 to 4 so Vigio up in a big spot here 6 4 first and third two down and this one is hit hard into the right field corner Chapman in to score. Espinal will be held at third, but the Biggio double makes it a one-run game. So here is George Springer. Espinal the tying run at third. Biggio the winning run at second. Here comes the 2-2. Little pop-up. There goes Story. He is underneath it. He's got it, and the Red Sox win the ball game. 6-5 in 10. <laughs>